Masters Vessel Classical Academy, Primary Section. On the Roll. Good day, pupils. I am back again to handle us on basic science. I remain your basic science teacher, Mrs. Obi Chinaza Rejoice. For Primary 2. We are going to talk about grouping animals by their common features. Grouping animals by their common features. In our last lesson, I talked to us about animals in the school compound. We mentioned the animals in the school compound. Some of them are lizard, spider, cockroach, rat, toad, and so on. Now we are going to talk about grouping animals by their common features. Grouping animals by their following, we can group animals by their following ways. By the end of this lesson, I would like you to group animals by these following ways. 1. Movement. 2. Diet. 3. External covering, which means outside. 4. Sounds. Now, I'll start with movement. Animals can be described and grouped by their common features and behaviors. Animals can be grouped by the way they move. A. Walking. Now, let's know the animals that move by walking. Can you mention them? We have many of them, a lot. Many. Now let's know the ones that can walk, that can move by walking. Goat. Listen very well. Goat, dog, sheep, cow, rat, cat. Many of them, both domestic animals and wild animals. We have a lot of them. We have lion. We have tiger. We have elephant. Many, so on. You can add up your own. Two is swimming. Swimming. Let's know the animals that move by swimming. One, fish. Crayfish. Crocodile. And so on. C, flying. Now we are going to know animals that move by flying. Bat, bat, owl, butterfly, housefly, and so on. We have another one, hopping, D. The ones that move by hopping. We have toad, frog, grasshopper, and so on. Another one is crawling. Let's know those, those ones that move by crawling. We have snail, snag, earthworm, millipede, and so on. Number two, diet. Number two is what? Diet. Animals can be grouped according to the food they eat. A. Grass eaters, grass eaters, herbivores, we call them herbivorous animals. Now let's know the ones that eat grass alone. Sheep, goat, rabbit, lucas. You know what lucas is? In Igbo language, we call it a big one. 
In the olden days, our grandmother and father, they used to eat it. But I don't know now, I don't think, I don't think that they used to, they are eating it now. But in the olden days, they used to eat it. It's their meat. Look us. All right. B is meat eaters. Listen very well. Meat eaters. Carnivores. We call them carnivorous animals. Tiger, lion, cat, and so on. These ones are the ones that eat meat alone. Meat is their food. You know tiger now? You know lion, the way they behave. When they see any animal around, they will just grab the animal and devour the animal and eat it the way they want. So they eat meat eh, alone. C is grass and meat eaters. Grass and meat eaters. Amivorous. We call them omnivorous animals. You know, man is number one omnivorous. Man eats grass and meat. Not all ordinary grass, so you know our food now. Vegetables. We have them there. Ogo in Igbo language. We have Okazi in Igbo language. Many of them. Punky is Ogo now, you know. Uh -huh. So this is the one man eats, you and me. And we also eat meat. So the animals that eat grass and meat are rat, pig, hen, and so on. We also have insect eaters. The ones that eat insects as their food. They are frog, lizard, wild gecko. You know wild gecko? You know lizard? You've seen lizard? You've seen frog? You've seen wild gecko? All right. Now, we are going to talk about external covering. External covering means outside. Outside covering. Some animals have scales covering their body. Example, fish and lizard. Animals like man and goat have hairs all over their body. Covering. Animal. Scales. Listen very well. Scales. The ones that cover their body with scales. Fish. Crocodile. Lizard. When you look at fish, when you look at crocodile and lizard, their covering is what is called scales. Their covering is what scales. Scale is being covered their outer body. Fe we have feathers. The ones under feathers are bird, chicken, dog, and so on. We have hair. The ones under hair are goat, sheep, dog, and so on. We also have shell, shell. The ones under this one are tortoise, turtle, and snail. You may be wondering what is a uh, turtle. Turtle is a reptile that lives in water. It's a reptile that lives in water. When you look at it, it looks like tortoise also. All right. Now, let's quickly move to their sounds. The sounds they make. Animals can be identified by the sound they make. Animals. Sounds. Dog. Do you know the sound a dog makes? Can you do it for me? Who? 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 Who, 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 who? Dog barks. Another one is cat. Can you make the sound of cat? Meow, meow, meow. Cat meows. Did you get that? All right. We have cow. Can you make the sound of a cow? Mmm, mmm, cow, yes. 
Another one is sheep. Can you make a sound of sheep? Sheep blinks. Another one is cock. Can you make a sound of cock? Cock crows. All right, before I leave, I would like you to take down this assignment. I would like you to take down your assignment. One, give the names of the animals with these features on the body. A, scales. B, hair. Number two, how do these animals move? A, cow. B, bat. C. Earthworm. Number three assignment. An example of an animal that hops is dash. Number four. Circle the animal that eats grass alone. A. Dog. B. Sheep. C. Bat. Thank you and remain blessed. I am Mrs. Chinaza Rejoice Obi. Bye.